What's up guys, Shakara here. And um so this tutorial I'm going to be showing you guys how to track flares the right way. Okay, so first off I'm just gonna show you guys the wrong way. So here's the wrong way. Let's me play through this clip for a second. And then as you can start to see the actual video is getting tracked, not the flare. So it's like you know all this like bullshit and stuff. So that's the wrong way. It's like wrong way and uh, this is the right way so let's uh, play through the clip and then as you can see the flare is actually being tracked like this is tracking flares not tracking video of flares so this is the right way and I'm gonna show you guys how to do it so let's get into here so what you wanna do first is always start by tracking your um, video you want to track to uh, to whatever you want your flare to be attached on, and it has to be on um, something you want to be tracked. No, my bet. You want to track where you want the flare to be. Fuck is that my clock? All right, whatever. So let's say if I track this and I want the flare to be over here, then it's not gonna work because we're gonna be using um, the position and wherever we track it, that's where the flare is gonna be. So yeah, since I already tracked it up in this bitch, um, we can motherfucker. Okay, we can make a new solid. You can make a flare with adjustment layers if you want. Uh, it doesn't really matter. Optical flares, render mode, transparent. I'm pretty sure you guys all know that. Options, pro presets too, and then let's let's find the one that we used last time. Damage. This is the one. The red beastie looking flares so what you don't want to do is you don't want to parent this to the null right away because you're basically just moving the picture so that's wrong so let's undo that so what you actually want to do is you want to find your null click P on your uh, keyboard for position uh, find your optical flare and then position XY this is this is the thing right here this is what controls where your flare looks and how realistic you can make it look so this is this, this is it so what you wanna do is you wanna alt click the stopwatch and then it brings up all these expressions and stuff so don't get intimidated by these numbers cause we're gonna be ignoring all of it <laughs> so which uh... we're just learning how to track a normal flare so we don't have to get into all this bullshit so what we do is you find this like squiggly line looking thing uh... pick whip and you wanna drag the pick whip so it has like this black line and then you wanna go down to your null and then what you don't wanna do you don't wanna put it on the null name you wanna put it on the position and not on the numbers just the position you wanna click and drag it let go of it and then it makes an expression so what you wanna do is you wanna click out of it and as you can see your flare is already checked and then when you play it through, your flare is tracked. And yeah, so it's using the position numbers on the uh, null so that it's like moving it for you. And yeah, so would you, um, if you want to use like, if you want to make it flicker and go speed in 100, mount, whatever, random to make it like flicker randomly. So yeah, it just looks like really sick. Like these flares look really good in hardcore edits, and probably, uh, I guess you could implement it in DNB edits, but I'm not sure how you do that. So yeah, uh, if you guys like this tutorial, please like and favorite, and comment down below. And if you haven't seen my Soar 500k um, editing RC, please watch that too. Um, I'm gonna link it in d in the uh, description below. So if you haven't seen it, go watch it, please. I, it's I've been getting really good feedback on it. And I actually got kicked from Darth for doing it, but I talked to Aimbot and we're all good. And yeah, if you guys like this tutorial, fuck, I already just said that. Motherfuck. All right, whatever. So yeah, guys, bye. Adios, amigos.